Hello instructors, this video will explore the Manage Groups function within your Isaac Sakai course site's site info tool. We often have very large classes that we would like to subdivide into smaller groups for the purposes of assignments, posting to the forums, or selective release of course materials. After a course site has been created, it's possible to manually create and manage groups that include your students, TAs, and even instructors. Note that it's also possible to specify that seminar, lab, and lecture groups be automatically created during the initial request process for your Isaac Sakai course site. But this service is unfortunately not possible if a course site has already been created. So now that we've got several students within our course, let's check out this functionality. We start by clicking Site Info and then Manage Groups. As you can see, we don't have any groups uh, within this course site just yet. So to begin, we click Create a New Group. Note that this procedure would be the same if you already had one or more groups present within your course site. So the first thing we do is assign a name to the group. Optionally add a description as well and choose whether or not you would like your students to be able to see the other members of their group when they click on the site info tool in their view of your Isaac Sakai course site. We can specify individual students that we would like to add to this group. So for example, I'll do so by clicking on the student's name and then the single right pointing arrow to shift him over. And once this is done, we click add. Once the page reloads, we can see that Group M has been created uh, with the size of only one student, and we see the name of the member of the group as well. If we would like to edit the group, we can click on its title, and this allows us to shift members out, or additionally shift other members in. In this case, I think I'll leave it as it was. And I'm going to create another one. If I would like to add more than one person at a time, I can hold the control button on a PC, command button if you're using a Mac. And add two people to this group. So now you can see we've got two. And if, for example, I would like to create a group that includes all students uh, within my course site, this would allow you not to have to manually specify each of the students as I've done previously. So we can click on Role Student and shift that over. We could do the same if we wanted to add all of the instructors within your course, for example, all of the liaison librarians, all of the organizers, and so forth. We complete the process once again by clicking Add. And we can see that all of the folks within this course site that have the student role have been added to the group. So now that we've made some groups, let's take a quick look at what we can do with this added functionality. And we'll do so by sending a custom announcement. So we move over to the announcements tool. Oops. And we click add to create a new announcement. And in the Access section, in the Announcement Configuration, we choose who we would like to post this to. So in this case, we'll post it just to the members of Group L, and then send it out. We can also use the Manual Group functionality to assign assignments only to certain members of the course. And we do so by opening the Assignments tool and click Add to create a new assignment. And I'll just perform the process, uh, or demonstrate the process rather, that allows us to assign this just to a select group. So in the Assignment Configuration window, if you scroll all the way down to the Access section and click Display to Selected Groups, we specify which group to which this is to be displayed. And then when we're done, we click Post. So that's a brief introduction to the Manage Groups tool functionality within Site Info in your Isaac Sakai course site. Thanks for watching.